Don't even ask me how his phone has that good of a picture. We have cameras all around this studio worth millions of dollars. <laughs> I should just have, I should be talking into phones, apparently. <laughs> I don't even need cameras anywhere for the TV show. All right, so uh, let's start with this. You've been in these locker rooms. I mean, I'm not shocked by it. Do you, do you believe OBJ's comments? I believe him. Look, there are coaches, old school coaches, there are players that do go out to actually hurt guys. They really do. I don't know if he's going out of his way to break his ankle on that play. I think he's just trying to hit him hard and end up hurting him. Did you get in a lot of arguments on the sidelines? Well, I was the worst. The first time you saw Gardner Minshew, did you think, yeah, this guy's going to be a great NFL quarterback? No, I didn't. Don't, I didn't at all. I don't blame nah. you. It was the first game in Tom Brady's history where he had two rushing touchdowns and no passing touchdowns. This roster is so good that if the quarterback's good, the team's going to be great. As of last night, the quarterback was great. The team just wasn't very good. And I feel like he was in the locker room. He felt the emotions of that locker room. And if he could have put on a helmet and run through a wall with them, he would have. But I think he got caught up in the moment. It's pretty hard in real time to look at that and say it's an egregious miss. The first time you talked to him when he got hurt, what was his initial reaction to you? Go win this game. When you tweet, you don't have to number the tweets. You can just thread them. <laughs> you can just thread the Colin, everything you were tweeting. I was like, this guy is spot on. But also, you're incredible, and I can't wait to hopefully one day uh, get on this show again.